Kelly with the North Coast Watershed Association, or MCWA for short. We are based here in Astoria, Oregon, and we serve the Nikolai Wikiup, Young's Bay, Skippinon, and E. coli watersheds. And if you don't know what a watershed is or which one you live in, that's okay. If you live around here, you can learn more about your watersheds at our website, which is clatsopwatersheds.org. Over the last few years, the NCWA has completed some pretty cool projects ranging from invasive species removal in crucial wetland habitat to decommissioning logging roads that have reconnected floodplains and also planted lots of native plants. Yeah. <laughs> native plants and insects uh, co-evolved here and most places so that one can't really exist without the other. They have co-dependent relationships and those lead up to other animals in our ecosystems that uh, include birds, amphibians, fish. All these species are going to need some native plants down at the bottom to help sustain them and that's what we're trying to generate with this program. <laughs> The NCWA wants to collaborate more with our neighbors in Astoria, since we're all stuck at home, and because we love our native pollinators. We want to start a program that is similar to the Portland Backyard Habitat Certification Program. Huge shout out to Columbia Land Trust and Portland Audubon Society for all the hard work that they do. And we will be doing things a little differently on the coast, as we are wont to do, with an emphasis on coastal species and pollinators. Our personal pollinator sanctuary program will give participants clear guidelines for how to transform their backyards into habitat. We'll work with local landscapers and nurseries to provide resources to folks working on changing their backyards into habitat. We'll educate the public on why native plants matter and most importantly, we'll provide amazing signs to those who put in the effort to transform their backyards into personal pollinator sanctuaries. Yeah. <laughs>